everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Joker Box. Today we're going to talk about the behind the scenes, longtime friend, 25 years, Brian, cinematographer, along with me for this Joker return to Gotham. Um, so yes. what I've been wanting to do this for a while, and my vision was just since we live, you know, in Chicago, have the Joker take advantage of it, have the Joker walk down the street um, where the truck flip scene was, and that's all I had. When Brian and I work on stuff together, we never script anything. I don't know, it's just not our way. We just, basically, here's how we prepared for it. I told him I had this idea to have the Joker walking down the street towards the iconic building, and we got in the car and go. And then we just got there, and it was just, this is how we work. All right, get a bunch of cool establishing shots from different angles, and we did that, and then it was just put together. Uh, that's That's how we made it. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. No, just kidding. <laughs> that about sums it all up. Right? I mean, no you scripting. gave them nothing. No scripting. Well, no you script. had a concept. We always have just concepts. There's no scripting. It's like, Joker walks into a deli. Go. And then we just film things like rapidly, because we read each other's minds, and we just yes. put it together as we make it. Why did the Joker cross the road? Watch that trailer and you'll see. When it was pretty cool because when we were filming it, yeah, um, there were a handful of people from like about a block away at the end. They were sporadic. Sporadic. They, they kept stopping Watching. and. I'm sure that there's got to be footage on people's grams uh, shared just from, you know, curiosity, people with their cell phones. So there was one younger guy that one of the first ones, he was like kind of like standing like, like, you don't see me. He was like next to one of the pillars and he was like just filming like he wanted to say something, but he didn't want to bother us, and he was just like filming. And then there was like groups of people intermittently, sporadically, filming from like filming us from like half a block away, which is pretty cool. And then it's like there's a movie being shot. So I'm gonna put it on and face that way. You're just gonna lift it up right now. Go ahead. I was filming the pillar shot with a Joker walking, and I didn't see police come up from behind us, neither did Brian. Mm. And so Brian's like, it's the cops. I saw it out of the corner of my eye only because I saw their light that they have on the side of the vehicle, you know, that they might use to shine at night or whatever. So I saw that, and I was like, normal cars don't have that. It's an unmarked vehicle. Hmm. I They're stopping for us. They're obviously stopping for us. And I, I walk up to him, and um, right away, the cop, the, the, the driver, there's two of them in there. He's like, you guys filming a Batman movie? You filming a Joker movie? Like, he was excited. So not what I expected. I'm like, yeah, we are. Which, I didn't get nervous, but I was thinking they were going to ask for permits, because Chicago's really bad for that. you got to have permits. And I'm like, you guys want to be in it? And right away, no, 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 we can't be in. Like, you know, I get it. We're not going to film your face, your badges. And I'm like, hey, can you handcuff him? Yeah, and that would have been a to surprise Brian. to the Joker for sure. <laughs> well, I was talking about yeah. about you initially. I'm like, can you handcuff? Like, you were maybe like right. one like, of the Jokers. I, like, like, I'm the prop hands of yeah. the Joker. Like, okay, yeah. Or one of the Joker's yeah. henchmen. Like, that would have been perfect. Can you handcuff him? Can mm. we just throw him in the squad? Can we just handcuff him? And they're like... No, 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 we're not going to do that. All right. And action. Well, I think, you know, there was a part where the Joker was seen in a parking garage uh, even before we got to the final uh, shoot location where the Joker w was seen in the mask by a whole bunch of people right. uh, on the ground level. Yeah. Uh, 
because um, the Joker just kind of looked out onto the street and there was literally just people dropping their bags and looking up going, what the, you know, they thought the parking garage, I'm sure, was about to be robbed. They might have even got on their phones <laughs> at that moment. You got a uh, pretty much abandoned street with some tourists around, not many. And because that a lot of couples holding hands, I, I noticed. Yeah, screw those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got the Joker dressed walking down the middle of the street. There were times where cars were coming, and I'm like, just get the mask on. Let's just film and get the hell out of here, you know? Because I didn't want the cops to stop us and ask for a permit because that's really yeah. expensive. Oh, this is a killer shot. Look at this. If I could incorporate you walking, maybe. Just walk, just walk right now. Just walk down the just walk, walk. Walk right now. Walk right here. Oh. Just walk on the, the ledge. Good. Yep. How far? Keep going. I'm not wearing gloves. That's fine. It's all I need. That's great. So, what do we spend down there? Like an hour? We filmed out a sequence. We just... Basically, we just filmed, keeping with the premise of I want him to walk downtown. That's it. I just want him to walk down the street like he's going to do something. And we just did a whole bunch of cool, you know, cinematography angles and shots. Yep. Awesome. I didn't even follow you. Even though we're in Chicago, there's the Gotham Board of Trade. Interesting. How did that happen? <laughs> interesting. Yes. Uh, very, very interesting, interesting indeed. I literally took a still frame. I cut it out where it says Chicago, and it was on a certain angle. And it's like, okay, Gotham. Okay, there's a G in Chicago. So I cropped out the G from the actual photograph image that I took a screen capture of, and I moved it to the front. That's one layer. And then, oh, there's an O in Chicago. There's the O for Gotham. And you get the rest of the, the idea. Um, for the T, there was a T that I took from the Board of Trade. So I moved Trade over to the... Now I need an H. And uh, there's an H in Chicago, so we're getting there. But the problem was the M. There's no M in Chicago Board of Trade. So what I did was... I took the H from Chicago, cropped that out, and then the horizontal line for the H, I cropped around that, then I turned it on a 45 degree angle, airbrushed out the bottom layer, and then I turned it the other way, so it's like to make the M for Gotham, and I just airbrushed the lower parts of that H out. So I just took the horizontal line for the H, broke it in half, and made the M angle, because when you're looking at it from a certain angle, some letters were facing you and pointing away because they were grabbed from other angles in the shot. That makes sense, I suppose. And you guys might yes. think, oh my God, that's just, that's, are you kidding? But it's that, well worth it though. In fact, the day where they were filming The Dark Knight, I worked in the building, the Chicago Board of Trade, that iconic building in Dark Knight, and I took the day off. And my friends were calling me saying, they're filming something. They're filming the Dark Knight down here. I missed it. I would have been right there. I could have watched. They were standing against the building watching that whole thing being filmed. Can you imagine you were coming out from work that day, <laughs> and suddenly you you know you what you have a, a bat wing literally in your lap. You know, I could just. <laughs> if you got enough patrons, would you? seriously consider making a featurette or whatever it might be. Yeah, I think so. What about you? I think so, too. I think you could probably... Uh, I mean, would you... We, wanna... we have a lot of talent in this area as far yeah. as acting goes. I've always felt uncomfortable asking for money, and the only reason I'm doing it is not to make money, but if we do this, and I'd like to, I know you and I could pull it off, um, yeah, I'm really glad you guys liked it. We all are. And, you know, thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done it already, please do. So you're alerted to other videos that we do. Click the subscribe with a little bell. 
I hate saying that, but this is what you have to do. So you're alerted of all the videos. Also, check the video description for other links like the Joker Box, RoxyTube, which is a YouTube alternative, and RoxyCast, which is Facebook alternative. If you want censor free social media, check them out. That's all I have now. You want to add anything else? I do. All right. But you're going to have to wait. Fine. <laughs>